Have you ever been using your laptop or desktop and then boom, blue screen? And you might just shrug it off right now, but then it happens again and again and again. Or maybe you were surfing on some questionable websites and then you got a nice taste of malware on your computer. Or perhaps your PC is just cluttered and slow and you just want to restore it. Well today we're going to be taking a look at how to easily restore your computer with a clean copy of Windows. Please know whether the computer you want to install on needs a 32 or 64 bit version of Windows and the model number of your computer in case you need to hunt down specific drivers after the fact. Let's go over the list of tools we'll need for this job. First up is a Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft.com. Second is a USB flash drive. Third is a Windows computer. And fourth is Rufus. Let us begin by Google searching Windows 10 ISO and find Microsoft's website. Once the page loads up, click the download button for Microsoft's USB tool. After the download finishes, go ahead and open it. And we're going to pick the ISO download. Right here is where you need to know whether to download the 32 or 64 bit version of Windows. And when you're ready, go ahead and start the download. While our ISO file is downloading, we're going to go ahead and grab Rufus, so just also Google search that. Then just scroll down until you see the download button and click it. And now that Windows 10 has finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and plug our flash drive into the computer and then find Rufus. Once you open Rufus, click the box where you pick your ISO file and navigate to where you downloaded Windows 10. And if you're using a computer that was shipped with Windows 8 or 10, you're going to want to pick the GDP and non-CSM options here. If you have a computer that originally shipped with Windows 7, pick the MBR style. Once all your settings look good, go ahead and start writing the disk file to your flash drive. Now that our flash drive is finished writing, we're ready to install Windows on our computer. You will need to know your boot menu key. With your computer powered off and your flash drive plugged in, hit the power button on your computer, then repeatedly hit your boot menu key. When the boot menu comes up, find your flash drive, highlight it, and hit enter. If you chose the non-CSM option, you'll be greeted with the Windows logo and the little spinning dots. If you chose the MBR style, you may get a screen that says press any key to boot. Eventually you'll be greeted with this Windows 10 welcome screen. Advance until you arrive at the option to pick your install. If it asks you for a product key, you can just hit skip and add one later. When we get to the screen, we're going to click the custom button. Erase all the partitions on your desired boot drive. When you're ready, highlight your drive and click next and let it do its thing.
a little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Now that Windows has installed, it's time to set up our user account and get to our desktop. If you're like me and don't want to link a Microsoft account to your PC, just don't set up your Wi-Fi. If you do want to use a Microsoft account, go ahead and log into your Wi-Fi network and just proceed through the installer. Now that we're at our desktop and connected to Wi-Fi, Windows will automatically activate and then start downloading updates and drivers. Depending on your computer, you may need to go online and find the drivers using the model number like I mentioned earlier, or use a driver tool from your manufacturer or a free one like Advanced System Care. That being said, our install is done, so please like, subscribe, and follow me on social media if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.